Back at the WEC post game after the Highlanders get a win, the first ever home game as a member of the America East Conference, defeating Maine by nine. And for the first time in 322 days, and in 324 days since celebrating a win, it is time for the RAF report. Assistant coach Jeff Rafferty with me, and you know the hat signifies one thing, which means a W. Congratulations. Yeah, I think it's a new. We'll, we'll add that to the show this year, but only after wins. Yep. So. Incentive for you yeah. to get the guys playing well. No, no question. I thought we, uh, I thought we really got it out the second half, and we really defended, and we got contributions from a lot of guys this afternoon. So it was a good team win. Yeah, it really was. And, and, and just for starters, because you and I have done so many of these, and we talk about, oh, Zach this and Zach that, and how important he's always been in this program, and important every wins. I'm looking at number one, Dylan O'Hearn, a good get for you guys. O'Hearn from uh, Western Oklahoma Community College. It's nice to have another guy who could pick up some scoring slack when Zach Cooks does have a game where he doesn't quite carry the team offensively. No question. Dylan's proven early, er, early this season what a valuable scorer he is. And he can score at all three levels. Um, and, it, it, you know, it certainly puts a lot of pressure on the defense when you have two capable scores. And, you know, Zach's had a rough couple weeks. He, he's fighting, you know, he's fighting strep throat. And, um, so be able to, you know, get a good lead win um, with, with other guys stepping up is, is huge. But Dylan, Dylan's off to a tremendous start. Yeah, just shooting the ball at such efficient rates has, has really stuck out to me. Now, we can look at other guys who have big games on the stat sheet, but I'm going to look at guys who didn't necessarily have huge games on the stat sheet. But I thought Kel DeGraff, who hasn't played a whole lot, a really tough assignment, did a nice job defensively on Steph Ingo and Diego Willis, who we could talk about, made a lot of plays too. But both those guys got a lot of minutes today and really those, influenced the wins. Those two are terrific right from the get-go. Gave us, gave us great energy in the first half. I, Diego Willis has improved immensely at the defensive end. He's actually kind of made himself our stopper off the bench. So his energy was terrific. Uh, we did a great job on the kid doing hard. I think he only had three points in his late in the second half. I mean, you know, um, so that was that was that was key in. in uh, you know, and, and slowing them down. They, with three minutes to go, they had 19 points in the second half. So. Yeah, no. Four, 14 points, rather. They had nine in the last three minutes. And, and it was crazy, too, right? The huge run, a 16-0 run. That all started with Antoine Butler drawing a charge. Right. You know, the, the Highlanders were, were always known for a defensive unit. You've been, like, the defensive coordinator, as we joke around on this team. And, you know, you wanted to get better defensively this year. That was yeah. a mission coming into this year. I mean, I saw a defensive effort today. I would be pretty proud of talk about what, what's made I that think happen. The sec I think the second half we were better. We, we, we haven't been great defensively, but to be honest with you, that's an area we need to be much more consistent um, a as a team and as a program. But I thought the second half was great. And we had have, we have a lot of guys kind of step up and, and, and join the fight there and, uh, on the defense end of the floor. Yeah, and then you go back to really how the game started. And although we didn't have, again, huge numbers at the end of the day, I like the thick numbers from San Antonio Brinson. Yeah. And, and you know from coaching San Antonio, you know, he's had some of the best games you've ever seen in Highlander history. He's had somewhere, just quite frankly, didn't necessarily appear. Right. And you saw the activity on the glass and passing the ball early that I thought set the tone for a comeback. Yeah, it was good. Early. He had a very solid 12 and eight for us today. And, and he was good defensively. So um, he, had, he had four or five rebounds early in the game. I, I kind of thought that, that got us going. All right, I got to ask you this, th for the people who aren't in the know, uh, this is new territory, okay? This America East, where you guys have to play the same team, back-to-back -back days. Take me to what's going on in the coaches' offices. What's different? How much work do you do tonight? Uh, how do you mentally handle playing the same team two days in a row? Well, there's so many good coaches in the league, so there's going to be adjustments being made. we got to improve on, on, on a couple things that we didn't do well today. Um, and we need to, to look at, at how we game planned and what they did to hurt us. That, that ball screen action hurt us a little bit early in the game, particularly early in the game. Um, so we need to look at how we're going to you know, defend certain ball screens tomorrow. Well, you're above 500 having played just one of your seven games at home. Uh, so that's a very good start in my eyes. But for you, as we bid adieu on our first edition of the Rap Report, what was it like coming back here playing? And I know there's no fans. There's 173 cutouts, but right. none of them were had, had a pulse or have COVID. That's Close. a good sign. Uh, but what's it like getting back to Newark, getting back to the WEC and taking care of business? Well, it's a great, it's a great venue, obviously. And, and it is a lot better with fans. But we're, we're getting used to it. And, and the guys, I thought we played with a very good energy today, and that needs to continue. Yeah, very good energy, and I know that uh, you and the rest of the coaching staff responsible for that. Raph, not only am I excited about having a chance to do a Raph report just 24 hours later after going 322 days without, right. but I'd like to see a chance at another new cap tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we're, that's what we're shooting for. Good, good, Sat win, good Saturday win, but but you know now the real work. But we chance to get a sweep tomorrow. We got to try to try to hold hold you know hold serve here at home.
Yeah, and there's no doubt you guys will have a grind tonight to get ready for tomorrow. Raph, always a pleasure. Again, top assistant Jeff Rafferty. I'm Matt Province. 1-0 at home here at the WEC. 1-0 on the Raff Report. We'll see you tomorrow.